Hugh James has the first hold on Massac for only four pairs one to go. Private first class Bruno is being escorted by the Office of Communication Strategy and Operations. Sergeant Carter Powell. Yeah, 
platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. Next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors? and gentlemen, our national anthem. Be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command. Right now. 
and sound off. Would signal the bands of Parade Ford of the Assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The Parade Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the Commander of Troops.
throughout our nation's history. Millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the dedicated service to war and country. This morning, Sergeant Major Brad Castle joins us here today. Sergeant Major Castle was the first Marine Expeditionary Force Sergeant Major before retiring after 34 years of honorable and faithful service in 2018. We would also like to recognize representatives of the Montford Point Marines Association. These Marines represent the first African Americans that overcame all odds to become Marines and serve our great nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for First Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Roger A. Hollenbeck. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Brigadier General Ryan, and Regimental Commander Colonel Rumler, welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot of San Diego and the graduation ceremony for Charlie Company. I'd also like to extend a special welcome to today's parade reviewing official. His impressive bio you'll hear in a moment. Most recently, the operations officer at the mighty One Marine Expeditionary Force, and formerly the regimental commander right here at the Recruit Training Regiment, Colonel Palmer. Welcome, sir. Today's ceremony recognizes your new Marine and all they've accomplished in the last 13 weeks. Gathering here as individuals, from all walks of life and all corners of the globe, they stepped onto the legendary yellow footprints and into uncertainty. They dug deep, they trained hard, they came together and stand before you as a confident team of Marines, the best this nation has to offer. Now, as you might imagine, this transformation definitely didn't happen on its own, so I'd like to thank those that made it possible. The foundation of their character wasn't made here. It was made in your homes, in your schools, and in your communities. So thank you to the parents, teachers, families, friends, and coaches. Your love, your support, and for many, your signature on the contract set conditions vital to their success. So thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Second, our spectacular drill instructors who spent every moment teaching, training, mentoring, and leading these Marines. The dedication and commitment has left a tremendous impact on your loved one. You will always remember and appreciate their efforts. Now the drill instructors and officers are able to commit themselves to the business of making Marines because of the support of their families who also join us in the audience today. So please join me in a well-deserved round of applause for the drill instructors and families of Charlie County. I'd also like to recognize the martial arts, marksmanship, water survival, and academics instructors, our outstanding chaplain, corpsman, and the entire medical team who have done a tremendous job keeping us physically, mentally, and spiritually strong. And of course, this dedicated recruiter who stopped attention to the And joining us today from Weapons Field Training Battalion is Sergeant Vasquez Hernandez, responsible for training the platoon with the highest rifle qualification score. And joining us, Recruiting substation Cheyenne, Wyoming, and Staff Sergeant Dean, responsible for recruiting today's honor graduate. Outstanding work, gentlemen. <laughs> now, please excuse me while I address the Marines one last time as their battalion commander. Good morning, Marines. <laughs> you gotta like that, right? We're address some motivation. You made it to graduation. You earned the Eagle Globe and Anchor, and you earned a look of pride on your loved one's face across this parade deck. It took you 13 weeks to earn this feeling, but it doesn't stop here. We promised you a challenge, and we will continue to deliver. You must continue to earn the title every day, to honor the legacy of those that came before you, and to blaze a trail for the next wave of warriors. The Marine Corps will be what you make it. 
So never forget the skills, the spirit, and the values that have been drilled into you, and I guarantee your success. You represent the Marine Corps now. You're the future of this great institution. Stand tall, take charge, and when you get home, introduce your buddies to your local recruits. Congratulations, Marines. Thank you for your hard work and for your dedication to serve this great nation. Take care of each other and cultivate the relationships you've made with your fellow Marine. They will serve you well. Semper Fidelis. Now taking a position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Colonel Matthew J. Palma, United States Marine Corps, retired. He is accompanied by Colonel Peter M. Rumler, Commanding Officer, Rev. Group Training Regiment, Marine Corps Group Depot, San Diego. Colonel Matthew J. Palma was commissioned through the platoon leader's class after graduating from St. Anselm College of Manchester, New Hampshire in December of 1994. He has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include battalion commander for 3rd Battalion, 3rd Marines, during which he deployed in support of Operation Enduring Freedom, 2nd in command of Kilo Company, 42nd Command of Royal Marines, during which he deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, Staff Platoon Commander and Commanding Officer for the Professional Training of Midshipmen, the Basic School in Guantico, Virginia, and Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Regiment, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. On December 1st, 2023, Colonel Palma retired after 29 years of honorable service. His personal decorations include the Defense Superior Service Medal, the Legion of Merit with Gold Star in lieu of Second Award, the Bronze Star Medal with Gold Star in lieu of Second Award, the Meritorious Service Medal with Gold Star in lieu of Second Award, the Joint Service Combination Medal, the Navy Marine Corps Combination Medal with two Gold Stars in lieu of Third Award, and the Joint Service Achievement Medal. Colonel Palma is a proud father of Private First Class Brandon M. Palma, graduating from Platoon 1043. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Colonel Matthew J. Palma. in review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge.
in the past 100 years and have departed in San Diego for combat and conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with public courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Terrawan, Iwo Jima, Busan, Incheon, Chosen Reservoir, Kaysan, City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marjah, Sangden, and our most current operation worldwide. This parade is rich in history and tradition. Forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated.
Series 1045, Series 10, Dr. Alex oh.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Brian D. Wyckoff. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Alfie L. Sharp Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company C. portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. Guys! Center! Heart! The guidons have been carried by the platoon throughout the boot training. Guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors. The honor graduate for Platoon 1041 is Private First Class Roman Z. Moisa from Merced, California. The honor graduate for Platoon 1042 and the company honor graduate is Private First Class Madison R. Teichman from 
Saratoga, Wyoming. Private First Class Leishman is also the recipient of the Chessie Fuller Award for her outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate from Platoon 1043 is Private First Class Brendan M. Palma from Oceanside, California. The honor graduate from Platoon 1045 is Private First Class Frankie A. Moreno from Denton, Texas. The honor graduate from Platoon 1046 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Aiden M. Zolich from Burnett, Texas. And the honor graduate from Platoon 1047 is Private First Class Joel R. Sosahados from San Bernardino, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company C. First Sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss the platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Senior drill instructors, dismiss your platoons! I got you, first Sergeant! 